Recently, I've been doing a fair number of scanning old family photos and bringing them through Photoshop and doing some quick restoration. Thought I'd share a few of those uh, tips of what I do to bring them back into just uh, what was probably more like their original state. Uh, this example photo I have here is one of my grandfather when he was young. As you can see, it's a very old photo and it has faded and gained some sepia toning over time. And I'd like to bring this back to its original uh, black and white state or as close as I can get to it. Um, first thing I like to do is take the crop tool and actually just rotate that and bring it down. You know, when you're scanning on a flatbed scanner, it's pretty uh, difficult to get that absolutely straight in the scan. So I like to do that right uh, first as I get in here into Photoshop. Now that that's in place, I'll grab a black and white filter uh, for the adjustment layer here. You can see that brings it back, but of course it's still faded. And there's some options here in the black and white filter, like I could bring that to maximum black. And that's going to uh, bring that back pretty nicely. Um, if I go underneath that and actually add either a curves or a levels layer, um, you can play with the clipping and uh, pull that back in. And you can see that actually brings it back to a pretty nice state as well. You gotta be a little careful with the black clipping that it can muddy up the, the really dark black areas. What I'd like to do is back that out though and show something that I discovered recently. Um, if we just go back to that black and white layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that. And instead of playing with curves or levels, what I'm going to do is apply uh, the camera raw filter to this scan. Now, normally we'll do this with a digital image that we've taken, uh, you know, recently, but this, of course, works on any image within Photoshop. We'll go to the Effects tab and the Dehaze filter. Now, this has, of course, been uh, recently introduced, and it's very helpful when you have a low contrast image or there's fog in the photo that you want to, to back out. Well, if I take this and slide it up just as if I were doing the same thing, you can see that brings back this photo very nicely. And you can, of course, move back and forth according to your taste. You know, if you get really heavy, the same applies where those darks get a little bit muddy. But I'll do a fairly heavy application here in this photo. We'll go to about 80. And you can see that brings it back really nicely without uh, playing with different tools. So if we look back at the original for this, you can see, you know, this looks really nice. If we go back to the crop stage, you can see how far we've come just from turning it black and white and applying the dehaze filter. That's after. We have before and after in the black and white. Hope you enjoyed the tip and thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see covered or if you'd like to see more of these quick tips.